Hi guys, what's up? And we're here together because we were challenged by Glamazelle to create two makeup looks with just one palette, the beautiful Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Have it's you guys gorgeous. check this out? Soft brown shades, it's just, it has something for everyone, right? Yeah, Clearly, sure. we have very two different looks, but yeah. So if you're interested in getting these looks, keep watching. Yes, primer. I'm using um, the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. Mine is the Time Bomb Face Primer. I've actually worn this a couple of times and it's really, really good for keeping your makeup on for a bit. Like, I think summer season, I'm going to be using this every day. Really? Yeah, because I need my makeup to stay on. I don't yeah. want... There's nothing worse than your makeup melting off. Is that not embarrassing? That is. That's never happened to me. Oh, it's happened to me. I have oily combination skin, so yay! Yeah, me too, by the way. Really? Maybe I just didn't notice. Okay, what's your next step before I say? Uh, okay, so I like to keep this primer on for a little bit because I feel like you need it your needs to get. Yeah, you need your primer to set for a little bit. But after this, I would go in for a corrector. I am actually really curious to see how you correct because whenever I see your skin, you look like it's like it looks like super flawless. So. Okay. I'm watch trying, me watch you. <laughs> I'm trying something new today. But yeah, for like five seconds, you have to look really ugly with this orange corrector. Yeah, I know. But it's life, so. I'm using the LA Girl Pro HD corrector. Super orange. Super orange. And we look weird for about yeah, an hour. Oh, I'm, I'm moving on to foundation. Huh? I'm not waiting for you. Oh, thanks. I'm I don't feel left out. Doll me up makeup. HD foundation. It's actually very, very nice. Okay, wait, let me just quickly get done with this. I actually put it under my eye because my under eye is really dark. So, for foundation, I am gonna use the Wet and Wild Photo Focus, and yes. I'm kind of confused between the beige and the, the classic beige and the desert beige. So, I'm probably gonna Why don't you mix, the two mix them on this. I actually really like this brush. Is it a Sigma brush? Yeah, it's a Sigma brush. That's why. It's a very good shade. Okay, I'm moving on to concealer. Okay, go on. This is like stippling because you're still blending, but you're hitting the product in and then you're not wiping it away. Because sometimes what you do is like it defeats the purpose. You're like wiping away your. Especially when you layer products, I feel like. I'm not an expert, but I feel like if you're layering products, like you're putting your corrector. And your concealer, when you do this like buffing in motion, sometimes you could just be wiped. Try that instead. It gives you more coverage. Yeah? Do you mm -hmm. like it? Yeah. Okay, concealer. So what is your holy grail? Uh, sh Tarte Shape Tape. Of Duh. Of course. Can you remember life before this concealer? No, I don't know. But I don't know, know what, what do? it is, by the way, but it's, it's heaven. Like, heaven. It's amazing. Hey, I'm a concealer too! Finally caught up. I know, right? So I'm gonna use the new Prac Blender by Sigma Beauty. See how this goes. Do you like it? Like, is it yeah, one yeah. of the Because it has that, it has that uh, um, surface, like a flat surface. So, for under eye setting powder, I've never tried this before. What is this? The Cody Air Sponge. Yeah, but it smells really good. Just smell it. Okay. I have a cold, but... Oh. It's nice, right? That's very fragrant. See, that's what I feel like. I'm no makeup makeup expert. I'm no makeup artist. I might look like I am making a complete mess, but I promise towards the end, it'll look it'll like... It'll all come together. Yeah, it'll all come together. It'll all come together. Just because we can, I'm gonna do like the reverse baking thing. What is the reverse baking thing? So reverse baking is like instead of using a contour powder, you use oh, your setting yeah, powder. Yeah, yeah. You go in like that. You're going into eyes? Yeah, I'm starting. Are you wearing shield by the way? Should we? 
Like for me, oh, I'm doing a night look, so I'm probably gonna use this gorgeous black on this black palette. I'm doing a day look, so I don't feel like I'm gonna go that crazy. But like, I'm a hot mess anyway. Like, I always drop things. Like, we're good. By the way, we're both using the Soft Glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Nikki is gonna do a sexy nighttime look. And Luan's gonna do a gorgeous daytime look. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yes, hopefully. So for me, I think I'm gonna definitely use the black shade on the palette and the gold. Yeah, and just a bit of everything. So I'm gonna go with the flow and hope that it all works out. But the first thing I'm gonna do is take the shade called Rustic, which is like a brown, woody, oody, Oody. Uh, oody um, and start kind of going into my crease. These shadow shields are amazing, especially if you're working with um, darker colors and you've done your um, base makeup. Um, literally everything just falls on them. Mm -hmm. And even they really help with the under eye because if you place them evenly, you can actually get a really good under eye. I always do the setting powder underneath your eye trick. So but that, that always doesn't that doesn't help, especially when you're working with like really dark blues or yeah, or like in this case today I'm gonna be using the black shade from the soft glam palette. Now I'm just gonna go all out. Like I'm gonna be crazy when I'm doing my makeup. So I'm thinking I wanna do a black here on my lid and then touch it up with the gold in the middle. So what did you tell me? I should put some setting spray. Yeah, spray with setting spray uh -huh. and then apply it onto your, it will be more pigmented. Damn, right? Damn. Oh, so mm -hmm. for wing liner, I have yeah, to do I'm my gonna brows. Just, yeah, I'm going to just, yeah, no. I'm just going to sit here and watch how you ace that liner, honestly. No pressure. No pressure. I love this liner, by the way. I think yeah. it's the blackest of the black. Schwing. It's Schwing <laughs> by the Balm. I love it. Okay, for now, I'm gonna watch her. No pressure. Okay. For me, I also like Schwing, and I love the tattoo liner by Kat Von D. I think yeah. it's really, really It's one handy. of those called Beauty Classics, basically. Yeah. Okay, we're going for it. Let me see. <coughs> Does the wink before, yeah, and then you connect it. You know, uh, I know I said I' not a fan of that phase of Bollywood, but I feel like the look I created is very Bollywood, actually. <laughs> actually. Oh my god! Our Dell lashes are literally one of my favorite lashes, and they come in these five pack, which is even cost effective. So I'm not the one who's gonna go for like a crazy um, lash. I like things that look more natural. I'll be like, oh my god, you have great lashes. That's when Ardell comes in really handy. I'm using this mascara from the Balm. It's called What's Your Type. So you have to leave the house in like 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay? But you still need to be kind of presentable because you never know who you're gonna bump into. Mm. What's like the one makeup thing you wouldn't leave the house without? Concealer, mascara, and lipstick. What about I you? I said one. I cannot do one. Okay, concealer. Oh, no, okay. I cannot do one. One. You have to pick one. Oh, mascara and lipstick. Okay, two is good. I'm kind of proud of myself. <laughs> when this started, I was like, I don't know what am I gonna do. And you did wing liner. And I did wing liner. I think the fact that you're next to me just... Um, good luck. The wing liner wipes came into me and oh, I managed. So you basically stole my wing liner wipes. But you still did like a pretty awesome job. I don't know what you're talking about. I so said the inspiration flew in, like got inside me. Like for my everyday makeup, I'll do foundation, concealer, blush, bronzer, and mascara. Like, and a lipstick. But like... But like I would any day, like if I were to buy a palette, I would definitely buy something like the Soft Glam because it has all these gorgeous neutral tones and I'm definitely more like brown, black, gold. But once in a while I feel like I want to go for a blue. Wait. When I'm completely done with eyes because I always like to do the inner corner highlight. I feel like it just makes your eyes pop. Like it just 
Yeah. I don't know, it's just transformational to me. I have to do that. I have to have that inner corner highlight. I think I need to do the rest of my face now. You need to contour, highlight. I think I'm gonna try this Sonia Kashuk. What is that? It's like a bronzer with the blush. It's pretty. It's pretty, isn't it? It's pretty. And I also wanna try this from the balm. Oh yeah, I don't need like Yeah, but you do my eyes are. I'm gonna use that. this as my blush today. It's not pretty. It's a blush. It's supposed to be a highlighter, but I yeah. feel like it's a little too yeah. pink to just yes. be a highlighter. So for me, bronzer, I'm using doll makeup made of gold. It also has a highlighter. Should we swatch? I feel like I've never swatched this. It's pretty, right? Yeah, it's really pretty. Ooh! Damn, right? Highlighter. But I always go with like a powder brush. Do you? And blend it up. Yeah, just... Yeah. <laughs> you can blend it, it's okay. Yeah, no, I meant like. So dramatic. Yeah, hello, I'm Indian. Do you blend it with the finger, or like with your fingers or brush? A this bit of both? Finger. I think you might need a beauty blender. Yeah, yeah, I know, I think so. I think I'm gonna go one more layer, what do you think? Yeah. With a highlight, right? Go for it. I love it though. You know what I'm gonna do to be extra? I'm mm -hmm. gonna do the liquid luminizer. And you're gonna put some powder on it? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna see this wet and wild highlighting powder. I love that stuff. But I'm not gonna use it as a blush, I'm just going over the highlighter. Yeah. Very soft bronzer. Please tell oh this is this crazy. I'm actually gonna go ahead and try the blush on this. It's a bit pinky for me, but I'm curious. Did you like the wet and wild highlighting powder? Yeah. So I think I'm going to lipstick. Which lipstick are you wearing? So I'm gonna wear Princess from Clambry, which is a brand that Glamazel started like it's their own so this is majesty also by glambry and what i'm gonna do is uh, oh this is such a cool pastel nudie pinky i'm just gonna dab it with my finger oh yeah. loves it <laughs> yeah this one's perfect it's amazing <laughs> So what lipstick are you wearing? So I use Glambry and I mix Princess with Majesty and got the most perfect pinkish nudes. Yeah, it's perfect with your eye makeup. Yeah. I'm what wearing you... Dynasty from Glambry. Dynasty. Show me. Ooh, right. I love it. What shade is that again? Dynasty. Ooh. But this will also be perfect with your eye makeup. Yeah, it's amazing. We have one step left. What is that? Okay. Ready? One, wait, wait, two, wait. three. Okay. One, One, two, three. three. Go. Ooh. I love what you've done. I'm so proud of us. I would have never yeah, thought that we would plan our looks. We didn't know what we were gonna do, but yeah, we did it. 